we're looking straight into our topic today, and that is ledger lines on the staff. <laughs> ledger lines are both used in the treble, in bastards, as well as the grand staff. Let's take a look at the lines and spaces of a staff before proceeding. So I want to say, welcome to class. A musical staff is a set of five horizontal or straight lines with four spaces in between that notes are written on. Now take a look at this. We have the spaces to the left and the lines to the right. The treble is on top and why the bars is below. Face, A, C, E, G, E, G, B, D, F, then G, B, D, F, E. These are the lines and spaces. Let's look at what they mean. The treble means every good boy does fine. For the lines and why the spaces is just F, A, C, E, which is your face. Then for the bars, we have great big dogs fight alligators. And why the spaces, they are all cows eat grass. Larger lines are short extra lines that accommodate or carries notes that are either too high or too low for the staff. So a ledger line simply is a short extra line that carries notes that are too high or too low for the staff. Now take a look at these ledger lines. You can see the ledger lines on the treble and the bars. We have ledger lines above the treble, we also have below. Same with the bar staff, we have above and we have what? Below. As we proceed, we are going to get more and better understanding. Now, outside spaces and ledger lines. Now, let's just take a look at this. When notes are too high or too low to be written in the staff, we make use of what? Ledger lines. We have the normal lines, which are five lines and four spaces. But when the notes are too high or too low, we cannot leave them hanging in the air. So we have to invite ledger lines. This is also another example of a ledger line. But we are going to be watching the video where I made a better explanation. Let's go. Okay. I want to show you how you can invite your treble lines or you call them ledger lines on the treble and bars. Now this is just... A, an example of a manuscript that has the treble clef, treble clef bass clef. This is how the bass clef is. A staff is made up of five lines and four spaces. So when we number, we number from below to top. This is line one, line two, line three, line four, and line five. Then we have spaces one, spaces two, three, and what is four. The first line on the treble staff is letter E. In music, we have letters A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. These are the seven letters we use in music. We don't have B as a key. We don't have W. We don't have Z. You know, we only make use of A to G. When you get to G, you go back again to A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. That's how you keep building. So we want to build our lines and our spaces. So if this is E. The first line automatically becomes the first space sorry, becomes what a so continue e f g a b c d e and f so look at the lines e g b d and f that's what we say stands for every good boy drinks fanta and the space is f a c e which is your word face so i want to build more and i want to add four notes above and below the treble staff so let's add i'll come here i'll have a note here this is on the space so to get the second note i can't leave it in the air so i have to invite a ledger line and we said a ledger line is a short extra line so put the note in the ledger line then we go again I'll put another ledger line here to be able to accommodate the next note. I'll put it on top of the ledger line. And to get the fourth note, I'll put a ledger line. Look at this. If I should put the note here, it will give this note same pattern or position. So you put another ledger line on top of the first one you've done. And you put the note in line. 
So if you see, I've gotten four. Let's do the same way below. I'll put my note here. I'll put it on top. Is it not so? Okay. I'll add the ledger line again. I'll put it before. I'll put my ledger line. I'll put another ledger line. And put this one on top of the ledger line. Now let's letter them. If this is F, this becomes what? G. You go A, B, C. So you see E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Then going below, this is E. This will become what? D. And you have this as C. You have this as B. You have this as A. So let's read A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. You see, it's just in a serial number. Now, what I want to bring out from this place is, give me the first and second ledger lines above the treble staff. Or the first and second ledger spaces above, below the treble staff. So the first line and second line becomes A and C. Did you see that? And why the first and second spaces below becomes D and B. So if they still ask you, what about the lines? You tell them, this is how you build. The same way you do for G. But in G, the first line begins with what? G. Sorry, for base clef, the first line begins from what? G. So once you build from a G, A, B, C, that's how you go. I don't want to do this because I need you to look at this example and use it to work on this. That's what you call practice makes. Perfect. So it's an exercise, it's our work for today. I need you to go back and try to do this that I have done. Look at it again, follow my steps, and build your own treble staff or your bars staff. But at the end of the exercise, you must close the lines. It's either you come to the end or you just close here. I just want to close here with a double line. What does a double line mean? It means the end of a note. So I've closed this work. So I trust that you keep practicing until you get a perfect work on your ledger lines above and below the staff. Thank you. All right. This is an example of the assignment we are going to be having. This is just ledger lines above the staff. And we are having six notes here. Okay, it's assignment time. I'll need you to pay attention in your assignment column and make sure you answer your assignment carefully. When you are done, you take a picture of your work. Please answer it inside one page of your notebook. You take a picture of your work and then you upload.